Hi, this is a short demonstration of GeneSet Context Analysis User Interface. A complete installation guide is on GitHub. To install GSCA, you should first download and install R from R project. It is also recommended that users install R Studio before running GSCA. GSCA depends on at least one of the four data packages which can be installed from Bioconductor by running these commands in R. For example, to install the data package FEHGU13382EXPR. The package has been installed. The GSCA package can be downloaded and installed from GitHub by running these commands in R. After installation, the GSCA user interface can be invoked by running the following commands in R. The user interface will pop up in a browser window. The main menu is on the top left side of the whole page. You can switch to other steps of your analysis anytime you want. On the left side is a sidebar panel where the options appear. In the middle is the main panel where almost all op outputs will show up in this area. I will walk you through the basic analysis procedures using two examples. The first example is a two gene set case of human milk and its target genes. The analysis starts with the input of gene sets. First, we input the gene set of milk. Change the name of the gene set here. The name can be anything easy for you to remember. Next, specify entrance gene ID, which is 4609 for milk in human. For a gene set with only one gene, typically you should specify the gene as positive gene. Notice that now a table will pop up here showing the gene set you have just given. Click Add Gene Set button if you have finished adding the gene set. Now let's import the target genes of MIG. Because there are many target genes for MIG, it is inconvenient to type in the entrance gene ID one by one, so we upload the gene set file which has already been prepared. The gene set file can have two or three columns, where the first column indicates gene entrance ID. The second column specifies weights, and an optional third column indicating the gene set name. You should include the third column if you want to upload a file containing information of multiple gene sets. Change the gene set name to be milk target gene. Choose upload gene set file. Click choose file button and choose a file. Check header option if you have a header included in your file. Make sure the separator and quote are correctly specified. Click Add Gene Set button to add this gene set. The Gene Set Summary tab shows a brief des description of the gene sets you have already given. You can also check the details of the given gene sets by going to Gene Set Details tab. Now let's go to the second step to select gene set and compendium. If you have imported lots of gene sets in the first step, you can select what gene sets to be included in GSC analysis here. There are currently four compendiums available for GSC analysis. Three of them contain human gene expression profiles, and one of them contains mouse expression profiles. This information shows how many samples and how many genes are included in each compendium. You can also go to the NCBI GEO description site for more details of the platform. If none of the gene sets contain any gene in the selected compendium, then you should consider changing the compendium or changing the input gene sets. For this study, we select human HGU1338 array. The table shows the original number of genes in the gene set as well as the number of genes included in the compendium. You can also check this option if you want to scale the gene expression values. Now let's go to the third step to run GSC analysis. For two gene sets, GSC will display a scatter plot 
where x and y axis represent the gene expression values of the two gene sets. Each dot in the scatter plot represents a sample. For a numeric pattern of interest or POI, the POI in the scatter plot is the top right region defined by the blue rectangle. Change the POI by sliding the bars here. You can also impose more precise POI, for example a 60% quantile as a lower bound for MIC. The legend shows a top rank in rich biological context associated with high expressions in both gene sets. Check these options here if you want to show enriched biological context only in POI. For more details of the enriched biological context, you can go to the ranking table tab. For example, if you are interested in lung cancer, you can search a keyword here. And all the related biological contexts will be returned. You can also change the enrichment criteria by changing the adjusted p-value of for change cutoffs. So the number of enriched biological contexts will change. You can also specify what particular biological context to display in the plot. To interactively specify gene expression pattern of interest, choose Interactive POI. Now you can specify the POI by drawing polygons on the scatter plot. Start drawing by clicking on the polygon. After you have finished, click Finish Drawing Polygon button. And GSC will return the enriched biological context associated with this particular POI. Click Add New Polygon to add new polygons. Click Undo Last Operation to undo. Click Reset to reset all the polygons. A very important feature of GSCA is that users can conveniently save and reload POI to reproduce the analysis. For example, after drawing a polygon here, you can click Save Current POI button to save the POI on your local computer. When you open GSCA again, you can load the POI file to reload the POI of your last analysis. After you have finished the GSC analysis, you can go to the download step to customize and save all the outputs. You can choose to use the results from numerical interactive POI. Then you can save the ranking table as CSV or TXT file. GSA offers a bunch of options for you to customize your plots before saving them. For example, you can change the main title, change the size of the legend, and change the range of X and Y axis. You can save the plot in different file types. And you can also specify the width and height of your plot. Click Save Plot to save the plot. OK, now let's quickly go through the second example of three gene sets. Go back to the first step. Click Reset All Gene Sets button to start a brand new analysis. The example is about mouse GLE1, GLE2, and GLE3 genes. Input gene set names and entrance ID one by one. Make sure that your input is correct. Go to the second step to choose the mouse 430 array. Go to the third step to run GSC analysis. For more than two gene sets, GSC will display two heat maps. Each heat map Rows represent gene sets and columns represent different samples. 
The color stands for high or low gene expression levels. The first heat map shows the gene expression levels of all samples in the compendium. The samples indicated by dark blue are selected samples. The second heat map shows the selected samples and the legend shows the top rank in rich biological context. You can change the POI by changing the bars here. Go to the ranking table to check the details. Now, to specify POI interactively, choose Interactive POI. The POI is defined by selecting one or several intervals of samples. Change the slider value to start selection. You can add multiple sliders, and the POI will be the union of all intervals. Again, samples indicated by dark blue are the selected samples. Sometimes it is hard to see a tiny part of the whole heat map clearly, so you can turn on the heat map zoom in function. Now you can see the details of the selected parts of the whole heat map. If you have finished selection, click Update Sample Selection button. GSCA will identify all enriched biological contacts associated with a given POI. Now go to the download step to save the results. You can customize your heat map by changing color palettes, adding row or column dendrograms, rotating row labels, and changing label size. To perform cross-species analysis, GSCA also provides a handy tool to transform entrance gene ID between human and mouse. For example, I want to convert the mouse entrance ID to human entrance ID. A conversion is completed. Click download button to save the file. If you have any question about using GSCA user interface, please refer to the FAQ section on the GitHub homepage. You are welcome to provide any suggestion of improving GSCA user interface. Thanks for watching.